Nima and I'm back with a new lesson on prepositions. Uh, the most commonly used prepositions that we're going to talk about today is the words with, over and by. Let's deal with the first word, the first preposition, which is with. A very commonly used word. And let's see the various ways in which we can use it. The first way that I can use the word or the preposition with is when I want to indicate being together or being involved. Okay, so let's look at the first sentence which says, I ordered a sandwich with a drink. Now, why did I use the word with? As I said, we use with a lot of times when we want to indicate being together, being involved, being in unison. So basically, when I ordered, say, breakfast, the sandwich came along together with the drink. And therefore, I used the word with, which is a preposition, which indicates that the sandwich and the drink are together. And then you have a sentence like, he was with his friends last night. Again, I use the word with. Why do I use that? Again, it talks about being together. So he was together with his friend. They were together last night. That's one of the ways you can use the word with. But as I said, there are various ways of using the same preposition. So what is the other way? The other way is to indicate having something, possessing something. It could be a quality, it could be a thing. So a sentence like, were you the one talking with an accent? Now, what I'm talking about having something, possessing something. And out here, we're talking about having or possessing an accent, maybe a British accent, maybe an Indian accent or an American accent. So with is used to have something. And then you have a sentence like, I met a guy with green eyes. Now, this again is a quality that a person possesses. He has green eyes. So I'm saying that I met a guy having green eyes. We can also talk about having something related to things. So I can say, he's the guy with a lot of money. So with again is used because somebody has something or possesses something. We can also use prepositions like with when we want to indicate using something or making the use of a particular thing. Let's see a sentence like, I wrote a letter with the pen you gave me. Now note very clearly that we're talking about using something. So what do you think have we used? We have used the pen and therefore I use the word with because I'm indicating that the pen was used to write a letter. Okay, so therefore I say I wrote a letter with which is using the pen you gave me. Another sentence, this is the soup I made with rice and barley. Now let's understand what is being used. We are using two common ingredients to make the soup and therefore I use with which indicates that I am using these things. So therefore it says, this is the soup I made with or using rice and barley. Simple. And then you have the, the word with or the preposition with, which is also used to indicate feelings, emotions. Well, a sentence like, I walked on the stage with confidence. With is used out here to show that the person was expressing a feeling or an emotion of being confident and therefore we use the word with. 
Similarly, a sentence like I am emailing you with my sincere apologies. The feeling that we are depicting in this sentence is a feeling of being sorry and therefore the apology. So you can see that when we want to use or show feelings, we will use the word with. So I say, I walked on the stage with confidence, a feeling, and I'm emailing you with my sincere apologies. We're now going to deal with another very commonly used preposition and a very commonly used word, which is the word over. Well, you've heard this word probably several times, but let's see how this preposition is used in different ways. The first way we can use it is to indicate movement in general. So when you move things or move people from one place to another, that's when you will probably use the word over. Let's see how. The first sentence says, come over to my house for dinner sometime. Now we all know that to go to someone's house, you've got to move from one place to another and therefore you will use the word over and therefore I say come over or move from maybe your house to my house for dinner sometime or for lunch sometime and then you have a sentence like they sent over a gift for his birthday now we're talking about movement again but here people are not moving but a thing is sent from one place to another so there is a movement of a thing which in this case is a gift from one place to another and therefore i use the word over and say they sent over a gift for his birthday okay and then you have uh, the usage of over when I want to indicate downward movement, okay? So this is a, a movement in a specific direction, which is the downward direction. So let's see how I can use the word over out here. The first one, the first sentence is, the big tree fell over a car. Now, let's remember downward movement. We all know that as per the law of gravity, things fall down. So when a big tree falls, of course, it's going to fall down. And therefore, we say the big tree fell over, which means it moved downward and fell over a car. And then you have a sentence like, can you bend over and pick the keys? So this is a question. I'm requesting someone to bend over or bend downward, maybe the key is somewhere down, and pick those keys up for me. So this is how you use the word over in these two different ways. Over can also be used to indicate more than expected. So basically, if you are receiving uh, things that you don't normally expect, then you use the word over in a lot of cases. The first sentence says, the phone rang for over a minute. Well, what do I mean by the phone ringing for over a minute? Now, I have used over because the expectation of my phone ringing could perhaps, be, perhaps have been for, say, 10 seconds or 30 seconds, but the phone ringing for over a minute exceeded my expectation. It was more than what I expected and therefore I used the word over. The other sentence says, the money offered was over our expectation. Now notice again that we are using over to indicate more than what we expect. So you probably, you know, expected $10,000, but you were offered $15,000. And therefore I say 
the money offered was more or over our expectation or over what we thought we would get and then you also have the preposition over when I want to indicate a period of time so a time period okay so let's see how that works we have a sentence like I worked there over five years so your the time period is very very specific I'm talking about a time period of five years and using the word over indicating that I have been with maybe a company or an organization for a specific time period and then I have another sentence like I'm stressed about this issue for over a month so we use the word over indicating a specific time period in this case it is a month so that's how you use the word over and now we will go on and see how we will use the other preposition which is by now a very commonly used preposition like by can also be used in various ways let's see the first way we can use it the first way is to indicate or to show closeness or proximity uh, well a sentence like can I sit by you? Why do I use the word by? What I'm really saying is, can I sit next to you? Can I sit close to you? So basically, when I use the word by, it mostly indicates being close, being in close proximity or being next to a person. We can also talk about closeness or being near something when I talk about a sentence like the post office is by the bank again the word by is used to indicate that the post office and the bank are not very far from each other they're probably just you know across the road they're probably just maybe a block away from each other and therefore we're indicating closeness by using the word by and then we also use by to indicate a passive voice sentence. So what is a passive voice sentence? A voice, uh, a sentence which talks about, uh, you know, a thing which has happened in the past is a passive voice sentence. So let's have a look at a few examples. Okay, so if I say the microwave was fixed by the mechanic the sentence is a passive voice sentence because it is in the past. I'm talking about a past event, something that has occurred a long time ago or maybe a few hours ago. So I use the word by to indicate this past event saying that the microwave was fixed in the past by the mechanic. Similarly, I have a sentence like the flowers were delivered by the florist. So this again is a past event. So basically, you can always remember a passive voice statement as being a statement that has happened in the past, but has been done by a particular person. So the person who has done it in this sentence is a mechanic. The person who has done it in this sentence is a florist. So by is used to indicate a passive voice statement done by somebody in the past. Well, the word or the preposition by can also be used to indicate an action with a purpose. Okay, we all know that when we do something or when we are involved in an action, there is a purpose behind it well most of the times so let's see why would I use by when I want to act with the intent of having a purpose so the first sentence says you can pass the exam by studying hard now let's see what is the action and what is the purpose okay the action is to study hard 
But what is the purpose? If I study hard, the purpose is to clear or to pass the exam with flying colors. And therefore, I use by to indicate that this action will give me this purpose. The purpose of this action gives me this result. So therefore, I say you can pass the exam by studying hard. So here is my action. I study hard and because I study hard, the purpose of my studying hard is to pass the exam and therefore I use by. Simple. And then you have a sentence like I expressed my feelings, my emotions by writing her a letter. What is the action and what is the purpose? The action is to write a letter. I write a letter and that is my action. But what is the purpose behind acting this way? The purpose is to express my feelings and therefore I will use the word or the preposition by and my sentence goes I expressed my feelings by writing her a letter. Now we also use the word by to indicate a method or maybe a means of doing something. Okay so there are various ways to do things but the best ways are the most you know are the most preferable ways of doing things. So let's see when I can use the word by. The sentence says please send the package by airmail. Okay why did I use by here? Because I'm indicating one of the best means or the best methods to send the package and that is by airmail. So when I say please send the package by airmail, I'm talking about sending a package by a particular means or a particular method. And then I say I came here by car. So again I use the word by to talk about a mode of transportation, a means or a method of coming to a particular place. Well, that's it from me on this lesson on the prepositions, very common ones called with, over and by. I'm sure you found it very useful. Keep practicing and I'll see you back with a new lesson. Until then, this is me saying goodbye.